Hello and welcome to another video. So lockdown has pretty much ended. We're at level level one lockdown, so things are pretty much back to normal, which is great. Um, the virus is still out there, so people should still be careful. You don't have to social distance, but personally I would, which is uh, kind of easy for me because I am on crutches because surgery happened. Oh, and I dropped my crutches. So it's been a week since I had my surgery I'm still quite sore and I struggle with my crutches because I'm not the most balanced person I've been trying to take it easy but it's not easy to take it easy because I just want to get up and do stuff but I can't so that's just how it is it, it, it's been pretty pretty good you know it's all it's been fixed and I've got a like this is a, a temporary cast and it's got like these supports and stuff in it it's like there's plaster down here but not so much up here which is weird to me but then I've not had a cast before and I just had to put up with this for now and I'm in this until the swelling goes down and then they put me in a different cast which should be good because it means I'm another step closer to being okay I, I have been making a lot of jokes about how I'm one step closer to being back to normal and I find it quite ironic because I struggle to walk at the moment because I can't do anything like normally when we do a video I'll walk around I can't do that because I can't hold the camera and the crutches it's frustrating and I have to I have to get these um, fixed but I can't because I can't drive, I can drive, I, I think I drive really well, but I can't drive with a leg like this. And even in ten, you know, 10 weeks time when this comes off, I probably won't be driving right away. Which is, it's it, just how it is. It'll be fine. It will be fine. It, I do find it a little hard because... Like, I'm in the lounge right now, and I've spent most of my time since I got home from the hospital in the lounge, which is fine, because it's pretty warm. You know, we've got the heat pump up there, uh, TV, the couch is really comfortable, and I've actually slept more on the couch than in my own bed, and that's just because, like, I'll take my painkillers for the ankle, and then I'll just have a nap. I'll get up and go to the bathroom, then I'll come back, and I will just be, like, shattered because it's such a lot of like it sounds like I'm complaining but I don't mean to um it's just a lot of effort physically getting around and I'm quite heavy I weigh close to 100 kilos and I'm really embarrassed by that and I've got all of that weight on my hip hopping along with my crutches so it it's quite sore and I'm looking forward to being able to get rid of some of that but I'm pretty sure everyone's gained some weight during lockdown, so I better not be the only one. Kitchen's through there, right? So if I'm on the couch, you know, I've got my pillows there because I've got to keep my foot up. But, so I get up and I can hop into the kitchen, but I can't really bring anything from the kitchen back in here because I can't grab anything and use my crutches at the same time. So there's lots of I guess learning involved so what I've I've done is I've got like a reusable shopping bag and I'll hop into the kitchen grab what I need put it in the bag and carry the bag in and that that's worked but not with a two liter Pepsi because I was quite lopsided and I ended up hopping 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 and yeah that could have gone really really bad but I I managed to get my balance back eventually. So yeah, uh, if any if anyone's got any tips for life on crutches, I would definitely love to hear about it. I'm really really encouraged by the fact that we've moved to a more normal lockdown situation. The borders are still closed. My biggest concern is I'm pretty sure it's like 75 days all up I'm pretty sure since it happened I'm gonna adjust my glasses sorry and what if 
the COVID-19 virus can last on a surface for 90 days. What if? We don't know. And then we're all open and a bar that closed 75 days ago has the virus just sitting there and they're all open and it's the virus is on the one surface that everyone touches that every other person thinks someone else cleaned. What if? Uh, yeah, I've got way too much time on my hands to think about these things, but I, I'm overall pretty happy with how our lockdown's gone. I would like to see things be okay, but I, I know we're going to have more cases eventually. And I'm very surprised that we haven't had, you know, we've had like 16, 17 days without cases, which is amazing. But it's only going to last so long. And when our borders open, that's going to be, you know, another step. It's going to be like, well, your country's safe, your country's safe, your country's safe. You can come here, we can go there. Uh, a lot of the Pacific Islands are COVID free, which is awesome, but they don't want us to go there. And fair enough. I don't think I would want people coming to my island either. I don't have an island. It would be nice if I did. So, I mean, hey, if everyone chips in, I could have an island. That'd be cool. Yeah, more ramble, more COVID news, more me news. And I'm really cold. So they've got me on blood thinners too. Uh, and I have to take those for quite a wee while. Like, it's not even... Like, I'll be on those longer than I'll be in the cast. And that... Yeah. So yeah, I am definitely feeling the cold at the moment, and it's hard because we're like in winter and it's cold. I mean, I've got the heat pump and blankets and shit, but I'm not used to it. I'm normally quite warm, and there is enough of me that I should be warm, so it just feels weird. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, please be careful out there. The virus is no doubt just waiting for you or me. Or someone who will take them off. It's just, it's still out there, and I just want people to be careful and safe. Because everyone matters, and I'd rather people be here than not. And if that means, you know, you've just got to be more wary about other people, then do it. I think people should keep washing their hands. I would definitely encourage that. So if you're going to take anything from this video, it's that you should keep washing your hands, and I'm going to see you very soon hopefully with an update on how the crutches are going or something interesting and it will be hopefully fun maybe I'll try to set up the camera and walk around or something and you can be amused I don't know we'll see I will see you in a video very very soon hopefully but yep like comment subscribe all that sort of stuff and stay safe and wash your hands